And now for the news for this first day of September 2016. Dairy farmers and God we trust all others bring data. Time was when cow sense, memory, and notes on a calendar were enough to manage a milk production or dairy breeding cattle, and the farm could be reasonably successful. Well, that time is behind us. In any successful business, records of financials, actions, transactions, events, and working with suppliers are necessary. Bankers need more than a handshake. Governments must have facts. For the future, profitable dairy farmers will need details electronically stored on all animals and the farm system. In Class 3 trade at Chicago Mercantile Exchange, milk futures were down on profit-taking and technical selling, giving back Tuesday's gains and in many months a little more. September was down 14 cents at 16.46, October was down 4 cents at 16.58, and November was down 8 cents at 16.31, followed by December that was down 7 cents at $16. U.S. farm incomes were at their lowest point this year since 2009, the U.S. Department of Agriculture said Tuesday, deepening pain in the farm belt amid a multi-year drought and commodity prices. As a result, the USDA said net income will drop 11.5% to $71.5 billion this year from $80.7 billion in 2015. That would be the stra third straight annual pay cut for farmers since income soared to record levels in 2013. Jersey calves are gaining popularity across the dairy raising operations in many parts of the country. Similar to all calves, the first 60 days of Jersey's life is critical to the future of their performance. But Jerseys have following unique characteristics that results keep in mind an optimum lifetime potential. It's rare for international dairy markets to rally in August, with European traders on holiday in Oceania on its off-season, but this year commodity prices, except for skim milk party, jumped 20 to 30 percent in a matter of weeks. Several states have reported illness related to raw milk this year including a recent E. coli outbreak in Michigan and salmonella in Utah. The U.S. Agricultural Department will reopen some offices Wednesday that were closed after the unsuspected email threat. 